Hi everybody and welcome to this video on the PERMA Wellbeing Model. So this is linked to the psychological wellbeing topic and it's going to be very helpful for exam revision. So let's get started. So let's start at the beginning. Martin Seligman is the main pioneer or one of the main pioneers in positive psychology research and development. So to quote him, positive psychology is founded on the belief that people want to lead meaningful lives and fulfilling lives, to cultivate what is best within themselves, and to enhance their experiences of love, work, and play. So Seligman says psychology should be as concerned with strengths as well as weaknesses, be as interested in building the best things in life as well as interpreting the worst, be as concerned with making the lives of normal people fulfilling as well as healing illnesses, and develop interventions to increase well-being, not just decrease misery. So in a previous video, I talked about the definition uh, in general of psychological well-being and positive psychology, and that's definitely fueled by Martin Seligman in his work. So not only focusing on treating mental illness, but also looking at how we can cultivate people to flourish and be concerned with the good rather than just the bad. So very, very important part of psychological research linked to positive psychology. So the aim of positive psychology, according to Seligman, is to help people flourish. So flourishing focuses on the strengths and character of the individual. This help then helps them build resilience to overcome challenges and build well-being. So this capacity creates better, stronger and more positive relationships between individuals, families and institutions. So again, like I said, positive psychology is still fairly new um, in terms of science. We've got a long way to go in terms of objectifying it. But the PERMA model has been studied and is one of the main structures that is in place that has been proven to increase overall well-being and happiness. So the flourishing and well-being theory, let's go into this in more detail. The goal of the well-being theory is to increase flourishing by increasing these five elements. So positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning and accomplishment. Now this is shortened to the acronym of PERMA. So the PERMA well-being theory states that if we actively choose to increase these five elements as best we can, we should become happier or have higher well-being. So let's go through each of them in more detail. So positive emotion is one of the cornerstones to well-being. Kindness, gratitude, hope, contentment are all positive emotions that contribute to the pleasant life. So experiencing or choosing to focus on positive emotions is quite important for overall well-being. Now, that's not to say that people who are happy won't experience sadness and fear and anger, negative emotions. They do. But they then also choose to focus where possible on the positive emotions, which will obviously lead to them being happier. Next, we have engagement. So much like positive emotion, it's a subjective element to well-being. Engagement is about being totally absorbed or in the zone or in a state of flow by a present task where time and self-consciousness seem to cease. So a person is completely absorbed in the task that they're doing uh, and really committing themselves to it, whether this is work or play or a hobby or a task, being fully engaged in an activity, regardless of the end result, is going to increase overall well-being. Relationships are an important part of well-being. So people who maintain strong, positive relationships are generally happier in life. We are social creatures who need to connect with one another. Now, I want to make it clear that relationships is not about quantity. So it's not the amount of friends or the amount of relationships that people have. It's the quality of the ones that they do possess. So a person may only have two or three very, very close friends. But often people that have that are far happier than people with several acquaintances but no real positive, meaningful relationships. So it doesn't mean that you have to get along with everybody or you get along with absolutely everybody in family and friend situations, but people who are happier have warm, supportive family and friends. But again, it's not the number that matters. It's the quality of what's there. Okay, next is meaning. So meaning in life comes from serving something that is bigger than ourselves. To have a sense of well-being, finding a purpose in life is essential. So what gives our life meaning? Altruism, which is selflessness, another term for that, and philanthropy are good methods to establishing a meaningful life. So doing something that's outside yourself or not just focusing on yourself, in other words. So this can include several examples depending on the individual. So often what we have seen, especially lately, is doing selfless acts for others. So volunteer work, being a part of a community, doing random acts of kindness, 
giving meaning to your life and a sense of purpose for other people and being altruistic in that is going to increase happiness. And then achievement, all right? So a sense of accomplishment. Having goals and meeting those goals improves overall well-being and allows you to flourish. So having realistic and attainable goals, which are able to be met, is also going to improve overall happiness and give a sense of satisfaction. So the PERMA theory has been investigated in several different countries and locations with a variety of individuals and communities. So even though there may be some subjectivity to what gives certain cultures meaning or what gives certain people more engagement activities and so on, overall, the PERMA model does hold its weight in terms of validity and increasing overall happiness, depending on, or no matter what the culture, I should say. So some aspects, again, may be more dominant in some people compared to others, but all contribute to happiness and well-being, either objectively or subjectively. So as we remember, a 2001 documentary called Happy, directed by Rocco Bellic, explored PERMA around the world and the factors that contributed to being, being successful. So that documentary really highlights the PERMA well-being theory and the direction where positive psychology is headed. Okay, everyone, so that sums up this video. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, obviously you know what to do. Feel free to email me or come see me. Otherwise, happy revising.